What we'll do now is to go back to the DCI and look at the structure of the DCI equation a little bit more and understand. However, before I do that, let me also tell you that it is trivial to add singles and triples, etc., to the CI equation, something that I would not like to do, but in details, but at least SDCI is important to do. So let me just tell you the structure of the SDCI. So all you need, forget about my approximations, go back to the actual equation of CI. So all you need is the matrix of the Hamiltonian, right? So I am again writing in terms of normal order. So what is the first term? 0. H minus E Hartree-Fock, Psi Hartree-Fock, so 0, right? Just as it was there before. And then I have, I am now writing in a more cryptic form, H0S. I hope you will be able to understand now. This is the matrix of the Hamiltonian between Hartree-Fock and singly excited. Remember, it should be H minus E Hartree-Fock, but it is not necessary to write E Hartree-Fock for the first term. Then I have H0D. This was essentially what I called Bidagger in the previous exercise, right? So H0D. So it's a three block. So what I'm now writing is a CISD equation. So CISD has three blocks. Hartree-Fock, which is only one by one block. Then you have a block of singles, Hartree-Fock, then you have a block of doubles. Of course, this should be larger than this, quite clear. Number of doubles should be larger than the number of singles. Then you have another block which is exactly opposite, HS0. Then another block, column block, which will be HD0. This is what I call B, just trying to, you know, put you in perspective. This is the new block that is coming in. It's a block matrix. What would be this block? This block would be H S S, right? Between one set of singly excited to another set of singly excited. And this block will be H S D. This is matrix. These are all matrix. It's a, however, this is a rectangular matrix. Because number of singles is different from number of doubles. This is a square matrix. So please understand from the block itself you will know. And then you have similarly an, a reverse of this, which is HDS, and eventually another square matrix, which is HDD. You can try to write as nicely as possible. <laughs> Those who can draw well, they should be able to do that. So this is my matrix of the Hamiltonian. And then I have one CS, CD. So I have this block of CS, I have the block of CD. equal to E correlation and exactly same, 1, CS and CD and so on. So this becomes your CI, it is very simple. So what you do is block wise, first block times the first column is into E correlation into 1. That is your E correlation. Now that B dagger, I had written down that B dagger uh, C will just change, okay, as more terms. However, we know that we have a Brillouin's theorem. So now I am going to apply the Brillouin's theorem for the Hartree-Fox. So this block is also 0. And this block is also 0. So interestingly, your correlation energy remains as B dagger CD or B dagger C. Right? Because this is 0. So 0 times this is 0. So this is all the correlation. So correlation energy does not change. Is it clear? Because of the Brillouin's theorem. So the question that you should ask then why should I do CI doubles? Why, why should I do CISD? Sorry. I should be happy with CI doubles. The answer is no. Because when I calculate CE, then you will see the changes will take place. Because my generic expression is beta C. But what is the value of C? If that is different, then correlation energy will be different. So that you will see for the next set of equations. This is 0, of course. So this is second row times the column. Now HSS will 
act on C s plus H s d will act on C d to give you E correlation C s. So, I have a C s equation. Do I require it? No, because my E correlation is B dagger C. So, I require only C d. So, I do not care about C s equation, but come to C d. Now, you have a problem B into 1 plus H d s into C s plus H d d into C d equal to your E correlation C d. So, your C d now depends on C s. I hope you can understand. It is a coupled equation. I will write them down. I am just trying to explain. So, to solve this, I need C s. Okay? If I need C s, that means my, my C d changes from the D C i and hence C i s d result will be different. So, why is it changing? It is changing because of this block. This block is not 0. Okay? Because singles by itself does not contribute because Hartree Fock is 0, but singles contributes with doubles and doubles mixes with Hartree Fock. So, in an indirect way, singly excited determinant is changing the energy, not directly, but through doubles. And we know that the doubles in interact with Hartree Fock. So, if I can change the doubles amplitude, then my result will change. And that is done because doubles amplitude is affected by singles. So, let me write down in the same block form the CISD equations before I go back to more discussion about DCI, which is simple. Note again that I can go back to normal order. So, these are all that I am writing is normal order. Okay? So, whatever you call it HN, since everything is HN, these are all please whatever I am writing now is normal order Hamilton, H minus E Hartree Fock. So, I do not have to write this, I hope. Uh, you will understand what it means. So, let me write down the expressions. So, I have the first expression is E correlation equal to B dagger C D. So, that is of course given. First expression is B dagger C D because of Brillouin's theorem. This does not contribute. But then you have a second equation which is 0 into 1, but you have now HSS. Again, please, please remember assume by default normal Hamiltonian. So, I am not going to write E H n all the time, assume by default normal order Hamiltonian. So, the H that I am writing is normal order now. Okay, so, you do not have to write the symbols each time. So, H S S into C S plus H S D into C D equal to E correlation into C S. Okay? Is it all right? Then the last set of equation is H D O which is my B right b into 1 so b plus h d s into c s plus h d d into c d equal to e correlation c d okay note that if this term was not there then my c d equation would have been exactly like double c i and your correlation energy is exactly like double C i. So, I do not care about this equation, right. So, what is H S S? I am least bothered. The problem is this guy, the D S or S D. This guy is not 0 and that is the reason C i S D gives a different result. So, C i S D provides different result. from DCI, uh, many people of course to be consistent call this also CID, I mean the literature you will find all kind of nomenclature. You, this is called CISD, this is called SDCI. So, whatever nomenclature you want to use, you use, no problem. Huh? So, this provides different result from DCI because of the block. HDS or HSD, that is identical block. 
again by default it's a normal ordered hamiltonian so so that is the reason cisd gives a different result because if this was zero then of course your cd equation would have been also exactly identical and correlation energy anyway does not depend on singles so your result would have been exactly identical but now because of just because of this block i have to solve this in a coupled equation so i it requires cs this is known this is not not zero so i require cs so i have to solve these two equations in a coupled manner to get both cs and cd and then put this here and the results will be of course we know that the results will not significantly vary simply because this is coming at a slightly higher order this coupling term so this is a coupling term which changes the dci result only to some extent so i have some numbers which i wanted to show and that is the reason i brought this book today uh, how much the double ci changes from cisd i think it's good to know before we go back to the discussion of the dci so e correlation is always same what is asking if there are triples so there would be one more block but this is also zero because hartree-fock with triples is also zero so the correlation energy expression is always doubles nothing else but then now doubles should again depend on triples so every time you are adding newer and newer excitations doubles is being modified if doubles would not have contributed to triples then there would be no discussion so what is important is doubly excited determinant whom they are interacting with whomever they are interacting with will affect the correlation energy is it clear so so triples will also change okay for the same reason but we will not discuss cisd triples we will just go to cisd okay so